so it started so this is the meaning of end to end program what is end to end so this if we'll go back to the slide this is end to end program meaning i'll start with a particular topic from the scratch maybe you have a zero knowledge on this but we'll finish that particular topic till cci level in one shot we'll not do like uh, the half big topic in the starting then after two months we are taking the topic back and then later into the segment we are not going to do that particular thing that is the meaning of end to end security or end to end program now how i going to do this particular thing meaning with respect to over here is let's say for example i have actually divided this entire curriculum into certain modules like we're going to start with asa which is module number 1 i'll show you the table of content also you don't have to worry about it we're going to have asa then we'll start with the vpn we have cisco ice we're going to talk about so many modules are there and then we have uh, uh, you call that next generation firewall then we're going to do your stealth watch then i'm going to do your wsas then io security and so many things we'll discuss that in table of content so what i'm trying to say is i gonna start from the asa from zero level knowledge and no matter it will take approximately 10 to 15 days but we'll come out from asa at cci level knowledge and then we'll jump into the next module which is vpn same goes with the vpn then with the triple a ice then in the next generation firewall then into the netflow world which is stealth watch then into web proxy then into the ios and so on and so forth i think this is clear to everyone right you can use your chat windows yeah you can use your chat windows if you understood this yeah. yes no something okay good <coughs> excellent so let's move further having said that let me let you know about myself so my name is nitish sharma i'll be your trainer and instructor i live in bangalore certain in, uh, hobbies are there total 13 years of an experience in different products most of the people over here know me because they are my old student for data center now i'm a senior technical instructor in uh, netmetric where you have it i'm the um a part time trainer for your global knowledge also i take freelancing i do projects i'm into multiple activities my specialization i'm mostly into the cisco's product then i'm into the vmware i'm into the uh cyber securities i'm into most of the data center products also i'm two time cci certified as if and uh, my specializations are precisely in dc and security plus routing switching plus wireless i'm into the multiple things so the course that you opted with me will be precisely for our security so we're going to talk about the security products over there now let's talk about cci over here two times cci security no one time in cci and one time in that mean 2x cci means how many ccis you have so i have two which is your data center as well as your CCI security. Okay, admin. What's what's your good name? May I know, administrator? <laughs> I'll change your name. Hi, Nidhi sir. This is uh, my name is uh, Wafur. I'm um, joining connecting from UAE. Basically. Okay. So you can you have an option to change Thank your you. name, right? You because you when you ah, try. Okay, it, I will do that. I will do. Yeah, I will do that. Is coming as iPhone. Okay. No worries. So let's move further ahead. Apart from my introduction, let's move further ahead and talk about how this process is going to happen. what are the things that you need to do mostly most of you have opted for your cci okay there is first of all no prerequisites with respect to the certification to earn your batch if you want to do cci like you don't have to give ccn or you don't have to uh, do your ccnp something like this you don't have to you can directly write the exam but there would be two hurdles for you what are the two hurdles or two barriers one is your written examination one is your practical examination before writing your practical exam this is your lab which we call also this is your lab you have written examination that needs to be get given the written examination for cci could be given any country any state you'll say about it there are peers and view locations are there you can write it the examination for the written is basically for 2 hours it is precisely 2 hours 
approximately 90 to 110 questions. Why I have given a hyphen in between that? Maybe you are going, you can get 95 questions. I'm going, I can get 110 questions. So the range is from 90 to 110 questions. Then you have no documentation at all. That means you're not supposed to open any of the documents from cisco.com and your scorecard will be generated immediately. This exam now is called as ESCO. This is called as ESCO exam, which we talk about in a few minutes. This is your ESCO exam. We're going to talk on this in a few minutes itself. Once you have cleared your S-score examination, what needs to be done? You are supposed to write your exam. Now, to be very honest, it has to be there earlier, 18 months. Now, due to the pandemic, due to the COVID, this keeps on increasing. Let's say, for example, you have started now because the labs are shut down. None of the places the labs have opened. Few places are there here and there, but not all the tracks are also open. Okay. I'll tell you that what are the locations where it is being open. That also we're going to discuss. But once you have done this, within that certain span of time, which I'll exactly tell in the last, you have to opt for your lab examination. This is your second hurdle. Once you have cleared both, but to clear the lab, what are the things? There are selected Cisco locations are there. What are the selected Cisco locations we have? We have... That also is there is a slide. There are eight or nine locations are there around the globe. This examination is your eight hours. This is your judgment day, okay? Where the designing and the configuration related certain segments are going to be get tested. How entitled slides are there for this? This is a Cisco. You can open your Cisco document. This is open book exam. We say that open book doesn't mean that you can carry your own register in the lab. And you can open it and you can write immediately. No, you can open the cisco.com website and there the documentation process. Let's say, for example, if you forget any of the commands on the VPN, okay, any of the commands on the VPN, if you have forget it. So that VPN, you can actually refer to the cisco.com. Absolutely, you can do it. Okay, you can absolutely do that. Apart from this, your scorecards will be generated within what? 48 hours of time. It will take 48 hours. Generally, it comes in four hours, but the maximum duration is 48 hours. That is the slab you have. Okay, that is the slab basically which we have. Once you get both the things cleared, your practical exam as well as written examination, you will earn your CCI batch. This is the place where you're gonna earn your CCI number. Or basically the same process goes with CCD examination also. Having said that, from 24th Feb of last year, Cisco have changed their curriculum. The pattern has been changed. Let's talk a little bit on that also. Previously, what used to happen is, you used to have a CCNA in all the tracks, right? You used to have in routing and switching. You used to have CCNA in uh, security. I'm not gonna write all your six to seven tracks over there, but you used to have CCNA. Then we used to have CCNP of all the tracks. Then we used to have CCA like this. But now from uh, the latest versions, and Cisco have changed their examination pattern. Now only one CCNA is there, only one single CCNA. You can't say that it's a routing and switching a, a CCNA for security of to the wireless or towards the service provider. No, one single exam, one single entry single exam. It's basically a network foundation course that we have. It had covers all the basic things which you'd need to learn at the NA level, at the associate level. So it covers your IP fundamentals, network access, IP accessibility, few of the automation and the security products. Once done that, now here comes the twist. Once it's being done, once it's being done, your CCNA is done. Only one single exam is there, right? It is one single exam which is there. Now comes the next level, which we call as CCMP level. 
Two things are there in the CCI level, a uh, CCNP level, my bad. One is your core exam, and one is called as concentration exams. Core and concentration exams are there. What's the difference between a core and the concentration exam? Let's understand that. Every track, be it like enterprise, service provider, data center, collaboration, or security, any of the track you choose it. For all the tracks, your concentration as well as your core exams are being provided. If you want to earn your badge of CCNP, core examination is must. Please understand this is a little bit confusing, but I'll try to live my level best to make it clear. To earn your CCNP certification, core is mandatory, okay? After that core, there are certain concentration exams in each and every track, like next generation firewall is one of the concentration exam. VPN is one of the concentration exams. ICE is concentration exam. NGIPS is one of the concentration exam. With respect to security, we'll talk about it. Yet WSA is one of the concentration exams. That means what Cisco says now, with core, what is core? which includes all these particular products, let's say for example, zero to 60% details. No labs are there in this. This is your basically the written examination, which I was also talking about. No labs are involved, pure theoretical thing. In concentration exam, this is like you can correlate in the world of the CCNP, route and switch, if you, anyone remembers that, you used to have a route different examination, then you have switching and then you used to have a troubleshooting over there, right? That's, that is pretty much your concentration exam. If yes, you yes. have cleared your core examination, if you have cleared your core examination, if you want to earn your CCNP batch, you need to clear any one of the track from here, any one of the track. Let's say for example, with core, you have cleared next generation firewall examination as a concentration, you'll earn your CCNP professional in next generation firewall. If you have done, you can keep on doing all this particular thing if you want to be like, this is basically being used for one year or two years, maximum years experience guys, they generally go with this. So they will write their core examination and they will do a professional level like I've done this particular product in and out. Then comes your CCI. What is CCI? The same core examination will be valid over here. If you have given the core exam, it's your path. You can either choose one of the track over here and earn your CCMP batch, or you can move further out towards the lab, towards the lab over here. Umbrella will fall any of them? No, it will just, it's not a concentration exam. It is basically comes at the CCI level. Okay, Vivek. So that comes in the CCI. This is what the concentration exam at the NP level I'm talking about, okay? So this concentration exams are different than your CCI exams. Again, I'm repeating, to earn your CCNP, you require, and the core examination for the security is called as S-core. If you are talking with respect to enterprise, it is called as E-core. If you talk about a data center, it is called as decode, like this. The naming conventions got changed. If you want to earn your CCNP certification, you require S score plus any of your chosen concentration exam. I'm just giving you a heads up snoop over here, right? How you gonna earn your CCNP? If you want to earn your CCI number, the same S score exam, plus you have to give that eight hours lab. Then you're gonna get your five digit magical number. So what is the common? S score is common for your NP or for the CCI. Does this make sense with everyone? Any questions raised over here? Anyone? Clear? So this uh, yes. Ajish, 
Yes. So yes. if I finish any of the core in CCNV, can I use it on any of the track in CCI? Any of the core in CCNV? No, no, no. It, it has to be subjected to that particular track. That's what I said. So if it's a security, you have to write S core. If you are trying for enterprise, it is E core. For data center, it is D core. Is that clear? No, I mean, uh, no, no. What I mean is, uh, if I finish any of the core in CCNV, can I use towards any of the track in CCA. If you have cleared any of the? Suppose I finished a CCNP core and security, can I use towards my data center in CCA? No, 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 you can't. That's what I'm saying, you can't use it. Okay. okay. Sorry. You okay. can't use that. It has to be subjected to that particular course itself. Uh, you are CCI security version five certified? Yes, I am with that. Okay, Vivek. Yes, Kush, uh, why Kush? You have a question. I have passed my CCI written exam. Can I use the same path? Have you... Yes, absolutely. You can just go towards your OLSM Cisco website and you check your written examination and whether they have upgraded it or not. That you just need to check it. And that uh, after the lecture also, you can connect with me and uh, I can guide you on that particular thing, how it needs to be done. Okay, that I'll help you out in that. Uh, reason I'm asking because I have a huge, I see the huge difference in that, uh, including the automation and all. Yes, there is, there is difference, but it's not like huge difference, Vivek, to be honest and precise with version five and version six. Only difference is automation has been pretty much being added. That's the only thing. VPNs are same, firewalls are same, ICE is going to be the same. One product that is being added, it's basically your umbrella and the stealth watch. That is basically one or two days job. The majority of the chunk is still relied on what? Your uh, basically VPNs and eyes and the firewalls, isn't it? So that is the only main concern over here. Did anyone clear version six from Netmetric? No one has cleared from anywhere as if now. Morgan Muthu, okay. Around the globe, no one has cleared this as if now. The written examination for the previous version, 5.0, not the score. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You can still, so my maybe if you have given already and it was valid before 24th, so they would have upgraded it to the score for you. If not, you can raise a ticket to the Cisco and they can, I can help you out that on this push later into the segment. In version six, WLC is not there, it is there. Wireless is there. I'll, I'll show you the table of the content over there. Okay, Naveen, we'll discuss about that. How much enterprise is important for security? Good question, sir. Now, before moving further, right? the only prerequisite, if you have zero person knowledge in the world of the security, this course is meant for you. It's okay, completely fine. I'll take you to the next level. But if you have zero person knowledge in routing and switching or enterprise, then boss, you need to do that particular thing first. In this particular entire curriculum, when we, we gonna start from today, I'm not going to teach you what is EIGRP. I'm not going to teach you any of the routing protocol, but how routing protocol works on the firewalls, on top of the GRE tunnels, everything we're gonna have it. Everything we're gonna have it. But I'm not going to teach you what is BGP attributes. Routing, I'm not gonna take it. What is the prerequisites then? The only prerequisite is which I said, if you have CCNA level knowledge of routing and switching, please go with this particular course. If you don't have done your CCN, because why I'm saying that in my previous batch, there are multiple students who have not done routing and switching. Why I'm saying is because they come from the cybersecurity background. They have never got into the world of the network. So my possible here also, there could be certain people who come from the info security background, information security background, and they just wanted to have a CCI. So for them, this is especially, please have a little bit any level knowledge. I'm not saying the certification is mandatory. If you have the knowledge, you can just go through with this particular track. Can we get the weekend batch? It is going to start by Feb first week, I think, if I'm not wrong, okay? After that. Now, let me just first explain you the format of the exam. It's a new format, so it's a lab format, how it is going to work. Let's see into this particular thing detailed way. Your examination. 
uh, when you see, you will cover from one to hundred percent from the particular topic. Does that include the knowledge as per the architecture and installation? Installation in the sense, everything will be installed, uh, Vivek, as a virtual thing. Ninety-nine percent lab is virtual. That installation, I'll do it. As in, like it's not a hardware work. I hope you understand the CCI security curriculum. Most of the products are virtual. From the scratch, we're gonna see it. I'll help you to build the EVNG, GNS3, whatever, whatever the platform you like it. We help you to build that particular thing. It could be there on your laptops. Images will be provided to you. We will have a, a, a dedicated people over there who can help you on, to, on top of this particular thing, who can help you to set up the lab. I'll teach you uh, what are the different uh, uh, topologies are there. Everything will be there. Designing perspective we're gonna talk about. Everything comes over there. Okay, Vivek? But as in the installation in the installation, yeah. Yeah, I mean, after getting knowledge from your side, I have, you will be 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to worry about it, 100%. We will talk about that, Sanjeev sir. What will be the laptop? Let me just finish this particular thing. So what we have it, let's understand the overview. What is that new lab format? In a version five, what used to happen is you have three sections allocated. One is called as troubleshooting section. Well, I, I have a connection issue. So please join, rejoin again more. Then it used to be your diagnostic section. And then the last section used to be your main config section, configuration section. Okay. This is used to be like version five, but the total number of hours is eight only. Eight hours examination, it's a huge examination, okay? Your troubleshooting examination is basically or the module is precisely where they will do two things. There are certain tickets will be there. Two things are going to, why I'm discussing version five because you will understand then version six very easily. There used to be certain tickets. Two things would be there in those particular tickets. First, either those tickets are wrongly configured or not configured at all. Certain commands are missing. We as an administrator has to solve those particular sections, troubleshoot it. Then used to come the diagnostic section. What is diagnostic? It's like you are from Cisco and you have sold your certain products to some of your clients. And now those clients are facing certain issues, okay? They're facing, so they're gonna write an email to a TAC engineer. Hey, boss, this blah, blah, blah product, I'm not able to do this particular thing. So what TAC guy is going to do? TAC guy is going to say to the client, sir, can you just send me the show command of this? Can you send me your production topology? Can you just let me know about it? What is the exact uh, debug commands which is running over there. What are these particular things? And then again, that client is going to write an email or maybe the snapshot and entire page will be there. What used to be diagnostic? Entire scenario, you're gonna read it. There is no products as in like, you are not going to get into the CLI or the GUI. It's purely and purely, you have to read it. And it's basically a multiple choice questions are there. By looking to that particular, or by reading that paragraph or maybe the output, show outputs and basically the topologies, you need to choose one of the answers about that is basically the diagnostic. As like what the TAC engineer does, it diagnoses the uh, problems of the clients. The same thing used to be over here. And then comes your most important thing, which is configuration. What is configuration? Where you have to do all the modules individually from the scratch. From the scratch, you need to do it. What changes in version six then? Version six has typically moved from this diagnostic troubleshoot and config to a altogether a new platform, which is precisely being deployed as in, in the production. Meaning is what? Your new lab has two modules only now. This is going to be a lab format. Module number one is precisely for your designing. It is three hours fixed. Fixed meaning is what? Let's say for example, in module number one, when you are doing the designing section, 
Let's say, for example, hypothetically, there are 10 questions are there. Let's say, for example, if you have finished those 10 questions in five minutes, which is near to impossible, just hypothetically, quote unquote, if you finish it, it doesn't mean that two or 55 minutes will be extended in the module number two. It is fixed. No matter you do 10 questions in five minutes or you take exactly your three hours, 180 minutes, you have to stay in module number one. Mm. It, yes. You have to stay it over there. I request you to mute at your end. You hope you are unmuted. Okay. So, module number one is all about designing three hours fixed which is being present over there sorry my bad three hours are fixed over there scenario based questions are there scenario based again this is pretty much like a diagnostic okay scenarios will be there i'll tell you that one scenario also very important thing is backward navigation within the module is disabled completely disabled there is no backward navigation you cannot go. So let's say, for example, you have done question number one, then you have done question number two, you move to the question number three. Now you realize that I have something in question number one, which I need. You can't do it. You cannot move back. It's, it's only forward. You cannot go back. And the points are completely hidden. You don't know what is the marks of question number one, question number two, you don't have any idea. Once you finish your module one, you move towards where? Module number two, where they are going to precisely discuss over duo, we call that. Deploy, operate, and optimize. This is your precisely five hours fixed again. Hands-on plus web-based, that means drag and drop questions will be there, multiple choice, multiple answers, I cannot let you know about it. Backward navigation is here enabled because this is all about the labbing. It's all about lab, five hours lab will be there. And each question, each question marks, you can see it. If you see at the bottom, it is written as progressive storyline. Whatever you want to design it, it will come into the module number two. So it's a story based thing. So module one and module two are actually connected to each other. They are actually connected to each other. So if I talk about a little bit in detail about module one quickly, designing to measure a candidate ability to create, analyze, valid or validate or optimize the network design, you have certain deployment activities will be there. Candidates will need to understand those capabilities, translate the customer requirements into the solutions, which is a designer is going to do. How will be the environment for that? Scenario based web-based items will be there. As I mentioned, backward navigation is disabled. Uh, point values are absolutely hidden. You gotta get in module number what? Different types of questions will be there. Multi, this is called as MC, XA means multiple choice, single based answer. Like you have a question and you have A, B, C, D options are there. So among that question, multiple choices are there, but one will be the correct one or Multiple choice, multiple answer. You could be like two answers. You need to choose it over there. You're going to have a hotspot questions, drag and drop, drop down from top to bottom or matrix based questions could be there. All I have in the last, you'll see that slide, how it looks like. So once you have done your designing module, it's a progressive storyline, right? Then precisely you're going to hand over to what? Module number two, duo we call that. Now here, it's a progressive storyline, okay? What you have designed it, candidate will build the network according to the design specification and the customer requirement with the restriction and will operate and not optimize the given network. How the environment will be there? Hands-on, plus web-based. Virtual environment, 96% devices are virtually. You cannot do an access point as a virtual machine or OVA or QCOW images are not there. So that is the reason 4% and depending on that, the wireless PC will come into the picture, right? But rest everything is purely and purely what? Your virtual. Can be done at your end also. 
As I mentioned earlier, the backward navigation is completely disabled. And you can see what? The points for that. The entire module number two will be having one big topology with the diagrams and IP addressing will be there. What are the devices being presented in that particular diagram? The credentials to log in in those particular uh, diagrams. Whatever you have done in the designing like HLDs, high level designs and the low level device LLDs will be there. That concept will be there. And then you're gonna move further. Ahead. Once you have finished your module one and module number two, both, then you can end for the lab. But whenever you are going for the lab, any of the geolocation, there will be always two monitors, which is going to be present. Generally, the best practice is that the left side of the monitor, you open your diagrams, your entire topology, where the time is going to running for you. You can see the timers also, how quickly your, um, your, your lab is going to be get ended. And on the right side, you generally open the devices, be it like graphical user interface or GUI, or be it like the CLIs. Again, it is, it is being said like this. It is not mandatory you have to go through with this itself. It's a best practice. How the exams report is going to come? If you pass your module number one, you failed module number two, you will be failed only. If you failed in module one and you failed in module uh, and you passed in module number, so combinations are there. Module number one, pass. Module number two, failed. Total overall result is failed. Module number two failed, module number, sorry, module number one failed, module number two passed. Overall exam or result is failed. You have to clear in both the modules. Then only you can move further. Uh, if I do mistake, yes, it is going to impact in some of the way. 110% of them. It is going to impact for sure. Having said that, now, what are the different lab locations we do have? You have precisely a few of the lab locations available around the planet. So you have Brussels, which is being on hold recently. Dubai is also being on hold recently. Bangalore is completely closed down. Hong Kong is open. Beijing is open. Tokyo is closed. Sydney is open. Richardson is closed due to the pandemic, due to the COVID. Okay. What we heard is maybe in May or June, these labs in India, Richardson and Dubai are completely gonna be open for everyone. So we have a good time. What we started in what? End of, uh, this is what, today is 18th, mid of Jan we have started. It will take three to four months to finish this. So till that particular moment, the labs are going to be get open. The things will be there with us. Cisco brick and mobile, it's there, but I never recommend it because most of the student has said that these mobile, you can see that the star ones are the actual ones and there are the mobile labs, the red ones, like Toronto in Canada, sometimes it opens, it opens in Singapore, Vancouver, Las Vegas. Generally, they, there are so much latencies in that. And the products also, like the you try to open ASA firewall, sometimes it um, uh, do a malfunction over there. Uh, certain times the connectivity issues are there. At the end of the day, out of 10, it, uh, out of 10, five guys ended up while getting another or second time vouchers from the Cisco. So it's a waste of time and waste of money also because Cisco is not, let's say for example, uh, or what, what star break or mortal lab is best. You can't say in that, but generally what happens is with the mobile labs, they say that uh, if let's say for example, something happens to the lab, right? you are not going to get your travel cost. Let's say, for example, you are moving from one company to another company that is not going to be provided by Cisco. Cisco is going to give you a voucher for the lab next attempt. So we generally avoid that particular thing. Okay, I generally don't recommend it, but it's your choice, it's your call, whether you want to do it or not. It's completely your choice, okay? Having said that, I hope we are going good, guys. As if not all good, everyone. Let me know any questions has been raised as if now. So first of all, before moving further, ahead, there are a few things I need to address it over here. Uh, I think uh, someone has added to this. Oh, 
mobile numbers are there. So let's move further. Ahead. How are we going to proceed with this particular curriculum and all? The entire duration for the course would be around about three to four months, I say that, in between. Generally, it gets finished in three, three and a half months itself. But let's say, for example, if I fall sick or something, by God, it should happen. Something happens. If I have taken something or basically some holidays are coming in this, something like this. So at that particular moment, by 10 days, it is going to be at risk more. Otherwise, generally, I finish in three, three and a half months. The classes will be conducted every Monday to Friday, right? Every Monday to Friday, the classes will be conducted. The timing is 7 to 9 p.m. Now, those who are there in Dubai or UAE, we can manage from 7.15 also, if the majority of the people are there. We can conduct this particular timing also. No issues in that. Okay. Because my previous batch also goes with this. Most of the people are from UAE and, and US also people guys join from there itself at this particular time. So depends. We can manipulate this time a little bit. But this is as if now. What we need to do when you are doing the preparation for CCI. Let's do that. Then we'll do a table of content. And uh, then we're going to do what? We can do that. Huh. Due to some issues, if we are unable to particular day, you will get two types of recordings, Sanjeev. One, you can record at your end, or I'll record it and I'll share it with you. Or one which is already pre-recorded for my previous batch. So you'll get the pre-recorded videos also and the recorded videos of this lecture also. But don't share it with everyone. That is the best thing which I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Are you going to help us to crack the lab with written both the things? That is what you, you are going to pay over here, Naveen. Okay. You're going to get help not only till CCI. After the CCI also, if you have need any kind of helps with your projects, I'm there to help you out in that. So it's end to end. If let's say, for example, if you fail in first attempt also, no worries. You are a second attempt also. You are not going to charge anything. It's completely in that. Once you pay it, tell your CCI. But for this version only. If tomorrow version 7 comes, then there will be a different policies. But I don't think so. For next 3 to 4 years, version 7 is going to come. Generally, every version stays for 3 to 4 years. Okay. So for 3 to 4 years, I'm there with you till you get your CCI number. So let's talk about certain studies and the preparation trips, how we're going to move in this particular batch. Today is all about the introduction. Tomorrow we'll start with the day one of the firewall, where I'm going to take you from the scratch level to the high level, slowly and slowly. Be ready for this. I believe most of you have already seen that in the beginning of the, any of the track. I've seen that you are very happy. I've, I've seen it so many times. People are so happy. They, they buy registers, the green pen, the pink pen, I'm sorry, not pink pen, the red pen, black, so many things. They make their table of content on the first page like this. And suddenly this register goes somewhere in the library after one week. You get bored of that. Most of the time I've seen it. Your CCI track is not only how good you're gonna study, it's also requires certain what do you say? Sacrifices also. I'm telling you very honestly. And it requires your family support. Because in the last, when you're going to prepare for your CCI, can you imagine it's an eight hour lab? So you have to prepare 10 hours in a day. 10 hours with me, with Nitish, plus your approximately eight to nine hours your office. Then where comes the family? There generally happens certain time what you're going to deviate yourself. So when you are going to start, I'm not saying about the family. Please spend good quality time Saturday, Sunday, spend quality time with family. But in the last, let's say, for example, I have booked my lab on 1st of May. 
So before 10 days, let's isolate for those 10 days. That, that is what I'm trying to say. I'll tell your family that this seven to nine from Monday to Friday, I'm going to be busy. And not all the weekends, let's say for example, generally four weekend comes in a month, two weekends completely dedicated with your family on Netflix, whatever you want to watch, but two weekends completely with me, the labs need to be done. Okay, we are gonna do the labs also. So get support from the family, which is also very important, very important. Don't trust on the rumors. There would be so many rumors around the globe here and there, Chinese will be there. There would be so many people who are gonna uh, uh, do the rumors, right? Your single point of contact is me. If you heard anything, don't believe in one go. It has to become, or you can tell me, I can make, because we have the resources. I'm into this industry for the last six years. So I know in and out how the things work. So I'll, I'll be your single point of contact, right? You have to have a GPS, which is goals, plans, and success. What I always generally say that you should have in mind when you're gonna give your lab a hypothetical date. Let's say, for example, you decide I want to write my exam in the month of November, write it somewhere. And then to achieve that particular thing in the month of November, make your plans weekly. Generally what happens is people make the plans what monthly basis or like after directly they will think about nine months from here or six months from here. Don't. This week I need to finish this much thing. Plan it. How are you going to do it? Most of you have the smartphones. Download all the PDF which I'm going to provide it to you on your mobiles. Or you're going to have the videos also available from my end. That also can be downloaded to your phone whenever you are traveling. Anywhere you can have a look to this particular thing. Save your time as much as possible so that you can, whenever you have 10 minutes or 15 minutes of time, try to read some of the documents which I'm going to share in the next few days. Once we're going to uh, start this particular lecture in and out after the enrollment of everyone. Find a practice lab. This is important. If you have 6 GB of RAM, okay, 6 GB RAM in your laptop, you can go with EVNG or you can go with what? Your GNS3, whatever you like it. Whatever the simulator you want to use it, you can use it. With this 6 GB RAM minimum, I'm telling you, you can easily do your entire ASIC, you can do your VPNs and you can do your WSS. These are the three modules. You can easily do it in your laptop, but the products like ICE, the product like StealthWatch, the products like your next generation, which is your FMCs and FTDs and NGIPS, you have to have more than beyond 12 GB or let's say for example, 16 GB, it's good for you. That is insufficient. You can absolutely do that particular thing on your laptop. Everything will be available. But how I gonna make it available? I'll tell you that also we have an LMS. I have my learning management system by Google Classroom. I'll do it. Umbrella is uh, cloud-based basically, Vivek. Okay, that is purely, there is no products over there. It's it's basically your open DNS. There is cloud-based material is there. Your umbrella is basically fully cloud. Okay, how are we gonna practice? That it will be given by my end. Right, that cannot, you cannot practice on your laptops. You need to have an account that I'll help you to make an account in the uh, umbrella one. That I'll help you in that, okay? But you cannot do a practice for that particular thing on the GNS or the E. You don't have that options available over there. And there is no OVFR. And it, yes, absolutely. Umbrella is, if you know the DNS, umbrella is very easy, right? Those who were, what is umbrella? Open DNS, they have actually acquired it and they are giving the DNS based solution over there, right? End to end security. <laughs> Excuse me. So all the images also for whatever the modules we have, all the images will be provided to you from our end. I'll give you the videos also how to add those particular things. If you got stuck anywhere, I'll be your point of contact to help you to build your lab also on your laptops. I have all the topologies, which is up and running, which I'm gonna show it to you. What are the different topologies we have? I'm gonna show that also to you. 
on which we're going to work. And a few tips in the last, I'll give it to you, but let's move further. Right? Understanding is the key. I've seen so many times the people started mugging the things over there, which is wrong. Please understand the concept. We'll see the Wireshark captures of all the particular labs. I'm going to do a Wireshark captures. We'll see that how the packet looks like. We're going to analyze them, right? We're going to see the guidelines of most of the particular important topics, like especially in VPNs and the ICE, which will help us to do the designing, which will help us to see the HLDs over there, high level designs. Please try to understand and correlate with your production. And you can ask me any questions over here in the production. I'll be very honest over here. I'm a very straightforward trainer. Two things are going to happen. Either I know the answer or I don't know the answer. Okay. And I have no shame in saying, no, I don't know the answer. But I will always tell, let's say, for example, if I don't know the answer, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to block it. I'm just going to say that, yes, I don't know it. But I have a very good friend of mine whose name is Google. I'm going to search it. It will be a learning for me also. I'm going to give you the answers for that. 100%. Or maybe within an hour, we're going to create a WhatsApp group over there. We're going to discuss this one-to-one -one call. I have so many friends who have the specialization on this. They can do that particular thing also. Will you provide the recorded sessions? Of course, sir. I have mentioned that also. Recorded sessions will be given to you. That will be there in your laptop. Whenever you want to open it, you can open that. What are the things that you need to take care in the lab? Stress is your enemy, sir. Now, this is basically stress is your enemy. I'm telling, but when I also went, this comes automatically, okay? We all are humans. It's not about generally most of the people. Yes, it's, it's not wrong, which I'm going to say. It's not like most of the people take loans also to give this exam. It's a $16,000 exam, right? of the people take. So if one question doesn't work now, you start getting panicking. The stress level goes high. And it is utter fact. I'm not kidding on this. You're going to see that whenever you go it, your heartbeat will be a little bit faster. It's not about the money. It's all about the time that you have invested. And by seeing that, oh, yeah, two questions or three questions, I'm not able to. And you know the result because these are the dependent questions. If your four previous question is not going to work, you know that the remaining questions i'm not going to get a point at all right so that 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 particular moment the stress is going to be there and yes this slide good looks good in the powerpoint itself okay but i'm telling you very honestly this because when you move further we're going to do the labs trust me you're going to opt for that it is going to impact it big times be confident in your knowledge this is very important slide why version five examples Around, I have like 700 to 800 guys in version 5, trust me. Out of 50 to 60 guys, what happened is, they faced problem in building a basic point-to-point -point EIGRP neighborhood. I'm not kidding, not a complicated one. Simple two point-to-point -point routers, the EIGRP didn't came up. Trust me. What, what was the solution? Reboot it. 96% devices... 96% devices are virtual devices. And let's say, for example, I'm going for the lab on Monday. Okay. I'm going for the lab on Monday. I've given the entire lab. My friend is going on Tuesday. So do you think that the entire new lab will be created for, for uh, the, my friend on Tuesday? No. They, the VMs are there. The scripts are there. They are going to revert it. Whenever a virtual machine, you try to do this also, you keep on taking the snapshots or you are going to revert the configurations of those particular VMs. They keep on collecting a garbage value. And when they keep on collecting the garbage value, there could be, you'd never know that. It could be after 10 times or 50 times or 100 times of after taking the snapshots, the garbage value will reach to a level where the devices start doing what? Malfunctioning. At that particular moment, what is going to happen? You require a reboot of the box waste of time or something. So certain times what we say, it, if you know that your configuration is absolutely correct, you move further, ahead, reboot the box. And after rebooting also, it is not coming. In the last, there would be a slab. In the last, there would be a feedback form. There you're going to write it. There you have to especially write it. Boss, Cisco, or dear Cisco like this, you can write it. <laughs> 
Okay, there you can write it. I have done everything fine on R1 and R2. Somehow the, that particular neighborship of EIGF is not coming up. Please do a manual intervention over there. Meaning is what? By default, when you're gonna end for your lab, okay? A script is going to run to check your lab. That is an automated script. How it works, no one knows that. Only the proctors knows about it. There will be an automated script. An automated script is going to check what is there in the script, of, of course, right? It is going to see that in the script, let's say, for example, show IP, EI, GRP, neighborship. Whether the neighborship is up and running, if it's not there, you're going to point, you're going to get what zero marks. But if in the feedback form, if you have written that, sir, I have done, dear Cisco, I have done absolutely correct this particular configuration, but somehow on your devices, the configuration is not, at that particular moment, Proctor is going to come and he's going to manually check it. Manual intervention will be there. At that particular moment, if Proctor sees that the commands are cleared, it's the device issue. You're going to earn the point for that. This is why I'm talking about be confident in your knowledge. If you know your configuration is absolutely fine, don't waste your time. Reboot the box. After that is also not coming. Move further. Ahead. Keep on moving further. Ahead. You don't have to stay on that particular question for an hour. You're going to lose your points as well as time. And time doesn't come back. Time doesn't come back. During the lab, few of my friends got blacklisted. You are not there to make the friends focus. Meaning is that it could be possible on the same day, there are so many pods are there in the same location, be it Bangalore, Richardson, Dubai, Hong Kong, Sydney. On the same day also, two guys can go. Let's say, for example, Alice and Bob went on the same day. On the same day, they went. They are best buddies. They are prepared everything. Now, Bob stuck in one of the VPN question, DMVPN, let's say, for example. And now he was asking Alice, I don't know what is happening. You are not supposed on that day, Alice and Bob are on their own. There are cameras, their voice gets getting get recorded. Everything is there. If it's being recorded, if Proctor has seen you doing the cheating, you have taken something over there or you are doing something or playing with the integrity of the program, 110%, you're going to be get blacklisted. It's not part of this slide, but I've included. You're going to get your most expensive lunch over there of $600 right? Use it wisely. Calm yourself down at that particular moment, at that duration. In eight hours, you're going to have 15 minutes break for your lunch, which is not included. It is not going to be included in your eight hours. It is excluded. Use your lunch wisely in the sense, sometimes because of the <laughs> stress level, okay, because of the stress level, as I mentioned, it happens most of you are going to face it because of the stress level. Sometimes you know the stuff, but because of the stress, the things doesn't come up. So that particular moment at the lunch, which is going to have like after three hours or four hours, I don't know exactly. Calm yourself down, do your lunch, and come back with good spirit and do your lab again. So you use your time very wisely over there. Next is very important, understand the questions. Why in the security to understand the questions very important because of the passwords. Now this is where they play most of the time. For your, especially in the world of the eyes where the users .1x and most of the other stuffs are going to come into the picture, what is gonna happen? You're gonna have the passwords. Password comes like P A S W zero R D. Read it properly. Cisco I, instead of I, it will be one. Cisco like this. Sometimes dot is there in the last. Need to read the question individually, which is very, very, very important. You have to read it. Once it's being done. Slow is better than fast. I've seen so many people who try to do what they, they are in full, uh, speed of Mercedes or Ferrari speed they are going. See a person who is going to give a lab, let's say for example, Alice has finished his lab in eight hours, exact eight hours or like seven hours is the precise time. One hour generally I tell that, keep it for your uh, revision in the last. 
and bob has finished the entire lab is in 5 years there is huge possibility that bob will do errors human errors but alice calm collective composed way we we call this as triple c also slow is better that you don't have to be that slow right that you are not able to you are finishing only four questions in in eight hours not that slow also don't take it in other ways slow is better means take your own sweet time do it in your precise way the way you used to do the practice before going to the lab same way you do it nothing else is required on top and this is how you going to behave in your cci lab are we going good guys all good any questions Now let's discuss about what the table of the content. What we're gonna do it. I'll share this table of content also with you guys. So with the table of content, my module number one will be a firewall, which will start from tomorrow. That will be our day two. Okay, so day one we are doing introduction to the course, course material, planning to do the CCI, and now I'm discussing the table of content. From tomorrow onwards, we're gonna do what? firewall again this is what i was talking in the start we need to do the stuff from the scratch so when i say that module number 1 is my asa firewall i going to start with what is firewall not only asa what is firewall how we going to see that particular firewall what are the things needs to be done in the firewall and so and so forth then we going to talk about stateless stateful most of you would be new to this but let me just quickly go through with this and i'll share this table of content also with the, with you guys so you can see that as a product family we going to talk about it clis how to do the physical interface security levels different security parameters redundant interfaces your acls on the firewall so this is basically your firewall section as a firewall not on the acs we going to do the ip now this is what i was talking about in the starting this is what you need to know about it before doing this the only prerequisite is which i need from your end is zero percent knowledge on security but at least ccna level of routing switching you should know it because i'm not going to teach what is eigrp what is vlan i'm not going to talk about what is how ping works how arp works what is arp these all other things which requires the prerequisites for this particular course only that is the prerequisites we got to talk about the modes on the firewall virtualization on the firewall which we call as context advanced topic on the firewalls are payloads active 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 standby clustering service level agreement policy based routings modular policy framework ddos dos attacks mitigations spoofing man in the middle botnets we going to talk about uh, your uh, different types of attack including ransomware one lecture would be there like precisely 10 to 15 minutes on the book a bitcoin like basically how the hackers are hacking and how the bitcoin plays a very important thing we'll talk on this sudip so give me a minute i'll i'll connect with this particular question okay then we'll start with module number 2 which is your vpn to start with the vpn you should know what is cryptography so on day 1 itself i'm not going to talk about what is vpn and all day 1 of vpn which is module number 2 will be completely focused on your cryptography like what is encryption why we need encryption what are two types of encryption algorithms we have symmetric asymmetric defi hellman right we have asa des cha cha so many are there hashing md5 hmac digital signature with digital certificates your pki public key infrastructure certificate authority root certificate authority and so and so forth we got to talk and then we going to start with what what is vpn what are different types of vpn we have why we need vpns for cia in the ipsec world ip securities we are talk about ike esp modes phases their messages not traversals how to configure ios and yes there will be a certificate authority and that certificate authority i'm just going to let you know would be on the routers only it will not be on windows uh, 2012 or 2016 because cisco is not going to test you on that so certificate authority which we going to create it because it's part of the lab would be there part of the lab i think so 
would be tested only only on the routers because cisco is not going to ask you to create a certificate authority right where on the windows platform they are rivals to each other so it will be always going to be there on ios devices we want to talk about side to side vpns wireshark captures of the vpn gre gre or ipsec with their different modes svtis dm vpn different phases of the dm vpn dual dual hub vpns ra ra vpn will be need of an hour i believe over here i think approximately 50 guys have joined right most of you are doing work from home isn't it and most of you might be getting connected through in your vpn itself 110% this i can write it i can tattoo it this will be a part of lab remote access vpns will be there baby it like ssl or be it like your client base which is cisco is any connect which is i think most commonly most of you guys are going to do it how to create the any connect their group policies tunnel creation split tunnelings and all then we're going to talk about the flex vpn with the ike v2 features where there have been spokes then we going to start with the third module which is your ice again why we need ice what is ice what is the to understand the ice i always say is that ice is a little bit tricky topic if you want to become an expert in ice you need to become an expert on aaa along with a very important two protocols one is called as your radius and one is your tacax if these three things are cleared this is the most easiest graphical use or user interface product at the end of the day to become a technical guy you want to become an expert in ice and ice is going to have the most number of weightage in your cci lab which is your 25% ice is the most important topic and as well as it's one of the leading products which cisco is selling across the globe now like you talk about sd access sd wap there there are competitors well aware cisco ice competitor is clear pass by aruba but still cisco ice has captured the majority of the domain according to the gartner reports and yes gartner also we're going to talk about the gartner reports analysis on the gartner report which product is running like if anyone knows about it cisco's next generation is out from the leaders columns in gartner anyone knows about it this this year report cisco is out palo alto is the leading number one Cisco's next generation firewall is out from the leaders Gartner quadrant. They have removed it. Okay, so yes, we're gonna do that analysis also later into the segment. And then we have ICE. So basically, from this ICE basic level, what are the challenges? Their guidelines, their solutions, their designing perspectives, right? Context visibility, licensing personas, triple, and this is where the fundamental comes. Uh, you mean FTD and FMC not in? No, they are not in the leaders. Just have a look. Only three are there: Fortinet. I think Checkpoint is there, and your Palo Alto. Just let me check it. <laughs> Maybe because of the bugs, also you can say that yes. See that? I'll open Fortinet site. I'm not sure this will show us or not. This is your magic quadrant for network firewalls. Just gonna zoom it. Can you see that only three are there now? This is 2020 report I'm talking about. I think November 2020. So Gartner has removed Cisco from the leaders. Now it goes into the challenges. You follow it for nine years. it is doing wonderful job why they are doing we're going to have the comparison i'm not going to do the comparison of cisco with all the three but i'm going to take a stories with uh, cisco and palo alto we're going to do that comparison comparison i'm talking again i'm not going to show the labs on pa okay it's a different course so it's a yes it's a big blow for cisco but we need to learn it see what's the beauty about security why i say that why cci security is having the maximum uh, aspirants over there the reason is you do one 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 of the uh, 
let's say for example you're going to do next generation firewall itself if you do your fmc and ftd right if you know one next generation firewall your palo alto your checkpoint right if you talk about fortinet and your cisco if you know about it all those particular things are one day job to learn it very honestly i'm saying you just need to have to look uh, for the graphical user interface right but all the firewalls are doing the same features isn't it all are going to have the same features itself you talk about the vpns all the products the vpn ipsec is a open standard right the logic is the same by when you talk about your let's say for example cci data center where aci i i am i'm used to call as a expert on aci and ucs but the day i used to tell that i'm expert in sdn another sdn concept is with vmware is nsx when i entered into the world of nsx i realized that i don't know anything because this is one different world this is one different world you are getting my point so why cci security is very important in today's every company requires a security engineer first second you learn the deep like security concept once in detail you talk about dmvpn dmvpn is a particular product which is running from 1998 and it's still up and running few changes and that's it done few changes has been done and it's gone okay so why i'm trying to tell you over here is just give me one sec what i'm trying to say over here is you learn one of the product at a given moment of time i got to make it forever so you just learn in the starting you give your best in the starting and the things will start working for you you don't have to upgrade your continuously like other products right having said that then we were talking about what other things we have the fundamentals triple a's are there which we got to learn it in and out of all this integration with the active directory elda we got to do your multi factor authentication yes multi factor authentication what we going to learn is uh, over here i don't know anyone has heard about it it's important we got to learn with the duo that is called required it in and out cross sec vpn authentications next generation firewall in and out we going to do it we are do the stealth watch we going to do the wss we going to do your umbrellas and in the last i'll tell you what is going to happen in the last this is important once all the modules have been finished all the products has been finished we are do what cci labs what is cci labs here you going to get it 160 hours from netmetric because on your 16 gb ram you will not be able to run the entire big topologies that will be built it and require a good server so we have five racks right now where we are running in and out all those things but that will be once you have completed this particular syllabus then it comes is it mandatory only 160 hours will be given no it is not it could be anything it could be anything right it could be your basically uh, 180 hours also it completely depends and it is completely up to us i do one to one analysis where is wlc it comes in ice navi wlc comes in the ice section okay i'll show you if you want there you go this this particular page access point authentication and authorization with the wireless guest and wlc with wlc okay navi all good so here it comes So you don't worry you you name it and i'll going to do it okay everything is being part and parcel so coming back over here you got to get your 8 hour sessions in the last before going for your lab which is 160 okay your 160 160 hours will be there 20 into 8 hour sessions 160 hours will be there for you is it 160 mandatory minimum is 160 so i always do one to one sessions with all my aspirants in between i look and check their labs if you require a more number of sessions like 20 sessions are there you require 5 or 10 sessions more i can handle this but after looking to your progress and app i feel that no you will not be able to do it will ask you to do what 
drop the lab then and there itself. You take more time. There is no point. And to drop a lab, there is a fees, $500 for that particular thing. $500 are there to drop your lab. But it is wise decision rather than wasting $1,600, you extend and increase your lab. Okay, you increase your lab. That is more, more precise way, I'll say it and show it. So that particular thing will be available over here. 20 into eight hour sessions will be there. Can be increased to 200 hours, but you will get bored in the last. You're gonna get 80 hours technology labs that again can be increased to 100 hours if you require it. Now, what I'm trying to say is those who have 16 GB lab, uh, RAM in their laptop, they don't require it, right? But there are for certain, I have seen that certain people are there who cannot afford that much amount because they have already affording it for to get the lab. For them, we have a precise lab. You can do the same labs, connect with the Netmetric management or connect with me. I'll help you to give you the racks also. And you can do the basic testing over there. No problem in this. Those who have 16 GB can done, everything can be done on their laptop. We got to do the preparation for the design t-shirt configuration. Self-analysis sheet comes in the last. That also I got to tell you what is the self-analysis sheet. Why it comes into the picture. We'll see that. Another question by Alfred is needed some automation knowledge. Yes, sir. You will get it 100%. But not from me. Because I, I actually realize in the starting, this is not my cup of tea. Okay. I have actually started Python. I'm not like I'm not. I'm, I'll say that I'm 50% in Python and Ansible, but I never get into the detail like 100 out of 100. I never done it. I've actually started Python. I think if I'm not wrong, more than 100 times I've started in my career. And I believe most of you also would have started Python in their career, right? But sooner or later you would have dropped it. But that is the same case. So we have a different trainers for that. That is not my expertise, okay, Alfred? So how that will come into the picture, your netcon for your basically your restful APIs, a different dedicated trainer after this particular uh, course is going to be finished by me, you go, will get it. And that uh, trainer is basically working in Juniper, Juniper automation team, he gonna teach you all this particular thing, not my name. And I'll be very honest on this, right? Why to lie about this particular thing? As I said earlier, I don't gonna lie anything into you. We're going to get each and everything from our end. But what I'm going to teach, that is what I was trying to tell you in the starting. So your, your entire thing will be done by me, except the automation, which I don't like it. And I tried it so many times, but I skipped it in over there. So this is how we're going to move it. And then what's next? Once this is being done, I'll show you in the last. Actually, it is in my another laptop. I think it's my another laptop. Just allow me a minute. Is there another one? Okay, I'll correlate this with, this is in the last when you are going to prepare for your CCI labs. I've not shared this with anyone. Just try to uh, understand this. I used to do it for my data center lectures, right? And routing and switching. This is for, don't see the topics over here. Try to understand the concept for that. With that Excel sheet is in the different uh, laptop, my another laptop. I think it's not in this. So what is the meaning of this particular Excel page. The meaning over here is this sheet is for you. This is not for me. See, you can lie to others, but don't lie to yourself. I always tell all my aspirants, don't, don't lie to yourself. Ah, yes, I have done it. I have. Be truthful with you. You can tell lie to your friends. Yes, I have done this lab. You can tell lies to me. Don't lie to yourself. This sheet is special, especially for you, not for me. I prepared it for you. So <laughs> there you're going to have the topics written. Like ASH, try to understand ASH. I'm gonna write the labs, active standby, clustering, PBR, routing on that, access list, natting, context. Whether you have created notes on that, 
Yes, no, partially. Rate yourself out of one to five. Again, don't lie to yourself. If you say that I rate myself in active active two, why? Write the comments. I have not done the lab on active active. I don't know the failure scenarios in the failovers. Write that particular comment and try to make it around four. Four to five is the best shot. So these are all the topics with respect to the security I'm going to give. This is all for my data center guys. Then you're gonna get your documents. <laughs> what is this document I'm talking about? This documents is basically your what? Over here. Whatever the best document from Cisco's website is there, right? Cisco's website. I'm gonna give you the hyperlink. Let's say for example, there is VPC. I don't know whether anyone knows about it or not. How it works, I'm trying to say. You just click on that. It is automatically gonna open in your browser and the, let's say for example, design guides for the VPC. It is automatically gonna open. So whatever the best document from Cisco's website is for that topic, it's already being there. You just need to click it and read that for particular thing and that document will be open for you. Having said that, after that, lab practice, Similarly, whether you have done next generation or IIS, AAA authentications, you've done that for so labbing naming conventions will be given. Lab done or not, yes, no partial. Rate yourself in that lab and give the comment section. This is your last section. This is your last section. This is 30 days before your CCI lab. This is what I was talking about, self-sheet analysis. I sit with one-to-one. -one and generally I tell that what needs to be. So when I sit with individual candidates, I ask them like what needs to be done. Sheet more, uh, in the night, you're gonna sleep, you want to do yoga. One guy said, that's sir, I do yoga also, please include. So I've included that. So at this particular time, so it is not like you have to follow this 100%. But if you have agenda in last 30 days before your lab, it makes sense. It helps actually to most of the people. You gotta read over here, let's say for example, ASA, this is your breakfast, travel, your office timing, your lunch, ACI time, relax, office, dinner, yoga, whatever you want to do. This is your self-analysis sheet. And this is how it's gonna work over here. And this is your day one. Now the questions. I hope you enjoyed it. All good guys. Uh, hi, Nithij Vivek, this side. I have a few questions uh, about the course. Want to talk about them offline. Is it possible or not? So after the lecture, you can call me. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, can I get some contact information? Absolutely. That I'll give it to you. Okay. Right Is there in my signature email signature also? You can see that. Okay. The one email that you sent for the Zoom Absolutely. session, right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Any other questions, guys? Anyone? No, that is thank you so much. This was helpful. Please, yes. That is uh, Raj. Yes, please. Yes. So, so typically, um, typically, how long does it take this for you to go and give a fair try for the lab? Does it take like what six to eight months of work, including the S score exam? So, come again. Your voice is a little bit scratchy. Can you come again? No, what I was saying is. Uh, how long, I mean, based on your experience, how much time do you think it on average takes? What, around six to eight months of hardcore work for uh, completing the S-core and attempting the lab to give uh, a decent try? Oh, uh, yes, I can say that. I'll tell you very honestly. See, what do you think? Let me ask you one question. Uh, what do you think? The freshers are, what well, generally this is the question is being asked. The freshers, freshers also attempted. I don't know why they attempted, but they attempted. But freshers with respect to experienced guys, if you talk about it in my career, the passing percentage for fresher is way too higher than the experienced guys. I hope you understand because experienced guys are working professional. They have to dedicate your time, eight hours. Fresher is just like sitting in the institute day in, day out, doing work with all the other working professional. He will be going to clear in one go. First thing, sir, I'm coming to your question now. What is on average the time would be taken by an aspirant to clear this particular lab, right? Sir, it totally depends on how good you are gonna go with my first. I have seen people have done two times or three times the uh, course with me. 
first time they feel because because what happens is in the first time they gonna understand the technology right so three months so they try to understand the world of the security if you are doing so generally i tell you what one more thing the graph i'm going to tell you in the starting sir what happens is you gonna read in one day but let's say for example we gonna start this particular batch in this week most of you who will do the enrollment and do the payment they will day in day out they will just think about cci itself and they think that why we will read about what eight hours in a day and will become cci in one day just next week just wait it your graph drops like this also right sometimes it goes like this beyond the axis what i say that generally please take one hour only one hour apart from my lecture give it to what i'm going to teach you one hour extra i need it one hour only or make it to 45 if you are damn busy For not 45 hours minutes you just make it to 45 minutes if that much you are giving daily basis and on weekends little bit labbing you are doing so 3 months of our curriculum course 3 and 1/2 months plus 1 month or 1 and 1/2 months i'll say that 45 days again dedicated practice of the cci labs it's more than enough to clear the lab i never give the guarantee first of all i'll be very honest over here if any institute is giving the guarantee it's a falsified term to be very honest i don't know whether other institute people have also joined today's demo because this most of the time it happens other institute guys also try to join my lectures so if you are saying like if i'm telling you everyone this is if any institute says that we give you 100% guarantee to clear the lab it's a falsified statement it has to be from both of us we will try but let's say for example in the last generally what happens is professional experience guys sir we have taken 10 days leave i'm all yours day in day out whatever in 10 days if everyone can become cci then what's 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 the deal i hope you are getting my point so who has asked that question i think raj right oh yeah yeah so it generally depends sir to be very honest uh, raj so i'll say it over here down the line 6 months is more than enough okay 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 down the line yeah i mean i i, I don't want to i don't want to throw heavy weight onto this right i want to take it gradually and oh, i want to pace this out this is yeah, the best exactly. time i'll tell you this is the best time right now why because labs are not open due to the pandemic right so right <laughs> exactly. now we just need to focus on the technology once you know the technology because after getting your cci and that to in security no one want to compromise with the security engineer i hope you getting my point right no one is going to compromise with the security so the interviews will be good you need to know about the knowledge ask me the scenarios we'll discuss about the scenarios having a production experience i have deployed so many things over there so this is what i'm trying to say we'll going to talk about so many things designing aspects over there we're going to talk about the features we're going to talk about the guidelines which is part and parcel many other stuffs we're going to talk about it so which is very important okay so i think 6 months down the line will be more than enough to do this particular course any other questions so day 1 is cleared how we are going my uh, way of speaking is good because most of the people are from different country is it able to understand the speaking language and all good present is one more question please go ahead one one more question you mentioned about weekends right weekends i have some other classes as well so i'm not sure uh, whether weekends would be important or i have i have like pretty much uh, some other classes on weekends so so you going to join weekend or weekday no i'm planning to do do weekday class but be best is i always say is do weekday i do take weekend okay. also but best is always to do the week weekday okay. is always the best because you will okay. be in a continuation from monday to friday and saturday sunday few hours also if you sit it will be in a continuation process what happens in okay. weekend first of all it will be like 6 to 8 hours in one day generally people will not be able to digest that much half the vpn okay. is going to finish in 8 hours right okay 
so generally it yeah, is not suggested to do the weekends because so many things and i have to do eight hours right so how many yeah. weekends you can grab in one day after all we all are human beings right a human being can take three hours lecture after that you going to start yawning you require a red bull or maybe a, a black coffee or something like this then only so uh, no uh, what i mentioned is i mean if i'm going to do the week weekday uh, course i mean the labs or something like that do i need to be available on the weekends because i have i may have some conflict on no, the no, weekends in the starting right? it is not required when okay. you have booked okay. your lab then it is required then you require saturday sunday okay 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 but in between it is not required you you, you are acquired with any other tracks or any other certification if you are doing completely fine no okay. worries in that. okay 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 thanks thanks mr no problem much uh next is what is the retake policy for the training you can do it any time you love to sit in my morning batch you can do it you love to sit in my weekend you set it you love to sit in my afternoon batch you can set it after this course you want to repeat it one more time please do it okay paul you can absolutely do it you can take n number of times retake from my end. if after three times of retake also you are not able to justify the track then i'll say that sir quit it because don't get offended but i'm trying to say one very important thing don't do a particular track because your friend has suggested it you should need to get an interest in that also so like i started in my career java and all my friends every my, all my friends were doing java so i also moved into java in the starting i didn't got any interest into that my friends are earning like in good good packages they are setting but i never learned java after attending three times batches in nit then i realized this is not my cup of tea so it is not mandatory to do again at the four time you have to do it you have to do it. it's not if you like it if you feel it if you got the interest which is security is hot right now in the market in today's world please do it can we please tell me a bit more on the weekend classes means schedules and the durations that you can connect with uh, what's your good name jmq first of all jmq stands for if you don't mind may i know your name jmq javed mudir qureshi okay sir so javed uh, you can drop an email regarding the weekend if you want to the management they will guide you regarding the same okay they will do it timing can be 715 of course timing can be 715 no 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 we can do it kali with 16 gb ram can we do all the labs in the laptop yes of course we can do it all the labs in one go you can't do it in one go you can't do it okay like small small bits and pieces sanjeev like only ice we can do it then only next generation clubbing all these things will be different do you have morning batch yes are in the morning batch goes from 9 to 11 ist time my laptop is having 4 gb no problem i'll help you in that particular thing do we have a morning batch of course it's already running the next batch is going to start in the month of feb end of the feb or maybe first week of march maybe first week of march it is going to start okay uh i have a question nitish so don't you uh it is uh, uh, this might be just, i will just take 2 minutes uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of background uh, like i have done my compshion certified ethical hacking right and i have just recently completed my ccna security mm -hmm. i am currently working in the fortigate firewall so the question is like oh, since i have just done ccna security so far right mm -hmm. and if i just get into the ccia right now mm -hmm. will that be a thing to go for or is it like i need to get the ccnp security as well no 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 no, no. it's not required you directly go for see nowadays in today's world see first of all let me ask you one question if you don't mind yeah. uh, the certification cost will be provided to you by the company or it will be from your pocket no it, it uh, just uh, it will be from my company from the company then you earn it then take the ccnp also cci also then take it both uh, i apologize if i meant it wrong i mean uh, i meant the ccna security has been provided by the company but yeah cci security have to be done by by me and just and Question in consecutive listening to this is uh, like day. when we prepare for the labs, right mm -hmm. over here, yes. will we be able to simulate the environment? Like I won't say hundred percent environment, but yeah, will it be like close enough? To yes, yes, absolutely. I'll tell you that it's very close. 
then only it is going to help for others also no so that is my responsibility okay i'll be making that that close so you'll be able to understand see basically what what i like about the ccie uh, labs is the topologies that is going to be get created right it is next to the real world right siddhanshu it is going to be next it's it's exactly they gonna make it how exactly the production are running okay so what we gonna do it over here is when the labs are going to be get open then the things will be there i gonna simulate certain things and the labs big topologies for you right which i have already done if i want to show you let me just show it to you i'll give you a glimpse tomorrow tomorrow lecture i'll go to give you the glimpse for that but as if now let me just show you one uh let's say for example i'll show you the ice this is for the ice in and out what we going to do it your aas vpn connectivity your vpn user getting authenticated guest users map uh, your aps your wireless see someone as navin wlc is there active directory duo authentication multi factor authentication device administration trust sec everything is being here. this is big topology now talk about any production in the world right all the ra vpn authentication has to be done same all the vpns getting authenticated with the active directory is exactly the same here and there the naming conventions are going to be get changed that's it rest everything will be absolutely absolutely will be the same uh, same with respect to the lab now the simulation of the lab in the net metric it will be pretty close to help you to clear your exam but again i don't give guarantee i hope sudanshi are getting my point guarantee is like i am not giving 100% you you need to practice with me right you need to give your dedicated time to do the practice then only it will be fruitful does this make sense now sudanshu i hope i have given the answer for you and and it's just a question we will be getting scenarios uh, not for the configuration sake we will be getting them for the troubleshooting also right yes see first we do the config then only the troubleshooting comes right yeah ex absolutely yes so first we'll try to get ourselves good in config with the time limits which i going to bound it for you and then we'll do the troubleshooting and then we'll going to have the test we're going to have the lectures test multiple choice questions and trust me you don't going to ask that much question the the questions that i going to raise it in front of you trust me so you can go to the linkedin profile of mine also nitish sharma and you can see the reviews and all is the weekend just one day or two days what time would be there again paul you can just connect with the management they will guide you regarding the same is the start of the new batch meaning after tomorrow will be the third class yes it's a new batch it's a day one kush okay and we are doing it on the weekend weekdays right i think that's more uh, it's going to be more efficient because a regular class is going to keep you you know updated Absolutely. with it this is what i'm trying to say weekend you going to exhaust yourself i'm not against any weekend see i going to do both the lectures right generally i suggest that weekdays are good why because you going to do the lectures with me and saturday sunday most of you will be free you can at least dedicate one saturday or maybe sunday evening or early morning and you can do the labs but if you are doing on weekends whole saturday eight hour whole sunday eight hour let's say for example or one day of one, one of them then regarding monday to friday i give you a bed no one generally reads they will be stuck with their office second is family which is priority i respect that apart from that no one do anything from monday to friday and let's say for example let's say for example hypothetically again if i fall sick on saturday or maybe on saturday sunday i have taken a leave then the gap is now 14 days i hope you understand what i'm trying to say yep 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 it's 14 days gap because if one weekend we have done it next weekend we are not taking it so the next lecture will be next so 14 days gap people generally move from <laughs> to different certification within 14 days trust me so that's what i prefer to do the week days which is more fruitful and it is going to give you more thing about any other questions and i think by the time enthusiasm is going to increase because i i'll be honest in november i started a score with some other place mm -hmm. we were doing the weekend classes and the effect that you're talking about we were uh, going through the same effect uh, uh -huh. uh, break been taken for one week and it went to 14 15 25 days sometimes and we lost the you know a touch of what we were going Absolutely. through and i have taken the money back from that place because i was not getting anything so 
coming back to the same place, just expecting a lot of knowledge. A certification is going to be the end of the, uh, yeah, uh, the so right. This is what I'm trying to say. You can get certification. Let me be very honest. You want CCI? Go any institute. Everyone have, I'll, sorry, quote unquote, dumps are there, right? You take 10 standard student, okay? You give him question paper and solution. Give him 200 hours of RAG. He will be the CCI. What's the difference between him and us? The knowledge the, and the, the justification. Yeah, the purpose of mine coming to you is because of the reviews I got it from Ujwal. I think he, if oh, you know yes, him. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, he's my yeah. data center student. Yeah. And the second thing is, uh, uh, it's very easy to earn the certification. It's very difficult to justify it. I, I just want to focus on the justification that we need to provide to the That's company. That's what I've written. Justification yes. of the number is very important. See, the person sitting on the other chair who got to take your interview, is not cool. He knows that how the CCI is being produced into the market. Yep. You need to do the justification. Mm -hmm. If at least out of 10, six, you can do it, give the answer, justify that, you will be selected. No one expecting 10 out of 10, right? Absolutely. So, sir, planning to give the lab next year, most probably, I won't give multiple revise before the lab. If I enroll for this good, shall I get the, yes, absolutely, sir. 100%. You want to do two times lectures of mine? Please do it. And Nitish, I dropped a message of uh, mine to you on WhatsApp. Just a situation that I uh, explained in case you can help me out with that. Okay. I didn't receive any message of yours. Oh, just now. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, eight to one in the last, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do, do it to one. Yeah. Do it no, problem. no problem. No problem. The so next question is, uh -huh. how long is the course in total? Uh, for I, if I'm not wrong, I think I'm pronouncing it correct. How long this course will be? It will be three, three and a half months for I. Okay. It will be that much. I'll I'll write my number also over here. Those who have attended late, late. Uh, let me sorry. Uh, three to three and a half months for the course, and then the hundred and sixty hours of lab. Am I, am I right to say that? Absolutely, okay. sir. You are crystal clear. Dead drop. Correct, sir. This is my number. Plus nine one double seven six zero one double four double four one. My name is Nitish. How much packet we can accept after CCI Munabai? Very good name, sir. How much package we can expect after this CCI of five weeks? It depends on your current package also. Munabai, if you want to discuss, you can connect with me on this number and we can, uh, I'll, I'll let you know about it over there. Okay, because it depends from company to company, your current package, your skill sets, and all okay so Nitish, we do get some reference for the openings from your side or from the net metric no so i'll be very honest i don't do here uh, what you call that placements or not counseling no, no. yeah so if i i got anything because most of the managers has connected if they have the openings i'll let you know about it so mm -hmm. it's not like 100 percent like placement like other institute does i don't do it because I don't believe in that particular thing. I mean, we have lots of opening going. Just asking because I already got somewhere selected and they wanted me to do CCI. And I realized the kind of burden that will be coming to my side. I'm not ready to take that burden. But the reason that I'm going to this one is it's... On the phone yeah. call. We'll discuss. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, pick... Um, Nidhi, yes. sir, I'm having a question. Please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, if we if we are continuing for three and a half months, mm -hmm. whether it is possible, like if I can have it like one and a half months itself, we can start practicing the lab and everything. Yes, absolutely. I gotta give you the labs, no? I gotta provide okay, you before, the before before like uh, like say for example, if you I'm having an experience working with all kind of Cisco IEs and all the stuff. So, like say in the middle of the like middle of the training, we can have a lab and we can practice start practicing on it. But it is possible if, like if that. I'm, if I'm doing, if, uh, sorry, if I'm if I understood your question, but I'll give you an answer on that, Aaron. If I'm doing VPN, so I generally tell that do VPNs only. Okay. Oh, okay. Doing right first. No matter how much experience you have in a particular individual, uh, uh, what do you call that uh, uh, product? If I'm taking ASA, Aaron, we will do labs only on ASA. Okay. Say, let's okay. say, for example, I'll give you a hint over here. If I have from 1st of Jan, hypothetically dates, I am going yep. to take till 15th of Jan, the firewall I'm taking, ASA firewall, okay? In this duration, I generally tell all my students, just focus on firewall and do try to finish it then and there itself. Let's say, for example, from 16th of Jan, I'm going to start VPN. 
and i'm doing the side to side and then generally people do what active active or active standby labs over there there is no point okay when i'm doing vpn stick with me that will be more fruitful if you are not able to finish from 1 to 15 asa don't do it stick with the vpn then we going to ice in ice you do that so if you require in the urgency or you require in starting i'll help you to do that please you take it or you do it at your end but i'll be giving you the answers when i going to start with the ice i hope you are getting it because others shouldn't get confused with that or we can have one to one premises on that okay okay perfect yeah thank you your explanation is clear there is no paper cci engineers what is the total course fee of this harish yadav uh, uh, i think you can connect with the management or you can ping me on this number i'll tell you that you can ping me on this number or you can connect with the management those who are told any weekend classes yes po p o p w o r i k o i sorry if i'm not pronounce it i'll say that p o i'll say that yes there are weekend lectures first week of feb is going to start you can connect over there would prefer to attend the morning session how can get out the link in the morning session uh, for i you can connect with the management they will tell you that how to connect with the morning thanks nitesh logging up yes thank you shrinivas tomorrow thanks for the information stay safe you too sir i just okay. have a question nitesh yes, so please. this the program is entirely online program or um, sir it's entirely to... online you want to see me i can open the webcam also sir in next lecture No, no, no. I, I'm just uh, asking the question because once the pandemic is over, like uh, people have to come to the. Uh, yes, of course. Institute is there, sir. Institute is there. As if now, uh, right now in Bangalore, the uh, it's been closed. The institutes are being closed, right? Schools, mm -hmm. colleges, and institutes has been closed. That's the reason we are doing this particular thing. If you want to uh, come down the net metric, once it's being open, the pandemic is over. The vaccines are out. we surely you're going to meet it at the institute itself i have my uh, i prefer to uh, i prefer to have uh, online because uh, the commute and other things so absolutely where you stay sir in india bangalore uh, then you must know about it the traffic and all right yeah. <laughs> so you stay at the home stay safe stay uh, save your time of traveling and all that will be helpful okay, okay. any other questions anyone all good hi nitesh shrithesh Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, my question is, as you said, that uh, this is going to be an end-to-end -end, uh, study okay. uh, curriculum pulled together, uh, one topic at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give any advice that if, let's say, you said that uh, that IS or AS is going to be in picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how can a person can keep himself or herself updated in the, uh, the time of this course? so you so for that we gonna i gonna share you certain links blogs links As someone has asked me about the books also we gonna create the timetables for you right everything will be created for this particular course right uh, so basically to keep an update i gonna tell you up in front like this is the book that we need to do and in the last let me just quickly tell you also how i generally uh, present our lectures i gonna do it So I have a classrooms. So it's a Google Classroom. LMS is there. All my classes are here. The so different different classes. The lecture, for example, I'll open any of this. So this is one of my batch where where I have this classroom. So see Stealth Watch, Table of Content, any of the track if you take it. My 18th November. This is my morning batch. Okay. So we have the classroom. Till now I'm on the VPN, right? So Table of Content, EVNG images with secured CRT license version. ASA books, ASA videos, score books will be there. Lab guides on the VPN, lab guides books, VPN books, VPN videos. Everything will be shared like this to you guys. So up in front, within this, so many books and the blogs are there. The links will be given it to you, sir. Up in front, where to read, what to read, how to read. Everything will be down the line as we move further. It you will get it from mine. so this is how the classes go so we have a learning management system which is like for this the only prerequisite is this for example i am telling you those who are get enrolled create one gmail for you for this particular le lectures right for this course you should have a gmail account if you don't have it you create it over there i going to make it and i going to make this lectures quite very innovative interesting you will be getting stuck with certain news like gartner reports we going to talk about like this so many things will come in near future okay sir with this sir and we'll connect offline also sure 
Thanks, Nidhi. I'm logging off. See you tomorrow. Absolutely, Paul. No worries. Do we have session tomorrow or directly it will be? No, we have session tomorrow also, guys. Tomorrow I'm going to start with the ASA. You can see the glimpse of that. And then we will take next week. I'll give you the time to get enrolled and all these particular things. I'm looking with everyone to forward with the, to get enrolled. You will not be getting disappointed for sure. Shall we end for the day, guys, now? Yep. And um, thank you, Nitish, thank for your time. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. See you tomorrow again. Thank you, Nitish. Bye bye. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Let's end for the day, guys. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye. You have my number. You can connect me later, also, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank uh, one question, uh, sir. Please go ahead, Kali. Uh, lab will be on GNS3 uh, for practice. Eve, I prefer Eve because Wireshark, everything will be there on that. Okay. Thank you. you want on Eve GNS3? You can do it on GNS3 also. No worries. Okay. Both are available. Any other questions? So let's end. Till then, bye-bye. Good night, guys. Take care. Stay safe.